Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Air Warfare Group. This is Juice, and today we are doing a short field arrival at Pagan Airstrip in the Marianas Islands chain. Uh, we are on Pagan Island here, and we're coming into the airfield that we're going to do our short field landing on, and this is part two of our short field series videos. And so right now I'm flying over the airfield at about 1,500 feet perpendicular to the runway and I'm just getting a look at what's going on on the airfield. I don't see any airplanes starting up or taxiing or anything. Uh, I don't see any wind indications, no trees swaying, no windsock. So I'm going to go ahead and land on the preferred runway coming from the ocean. So I'm going out now to set up at about 220 miles per hour. I'm going to set up for an initial overhead break at a thousand feet above field elevation. So I've already got my altimeter set. We're almost down to a thousand now after crossing the runway. We're going to go out here so we don't turn too tight and we're going to come over the overhead. Now at this airfield if I was to make the rules here like the FAA would in the in the United States I would make this airfield a if you're going landing from the ocean to the trees I would make it a right traffic and I would make the other side a left traffic and I'll show you why because there's obstructions on the north side of the airfield. This is kind of this runway runs almost east to west. It's not quite east to west. West to east and east to west. So here we coming in. We're coming in for the overhead. Let's see what we're altimeter. Yeah, we're almost to a thousand. And we've got some buildings there to look at. There's some houses on the other side of the runway over there by that cove to the right. So let's check our altimeter. We're a little low. Let's come back up. Speed's a little slow, but we're good. We're going to come over. We can see the runway. We still see nobody taxiing out. We've been listening on Unicom. And there's nothing going on. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to break right traffic. And we're going to hold our pattern altitude right now because of terrain. You can see that hill climbs up there. and Which is often the case on these unique airfields out in the bush. All right, we are at gear speed. Let's go flaps 20. Verified. And we're midfield now. We'll roll out. And we're going to turn at about 10 degrees past the threshold. Flaps 30. Okay, we're getting low on our speed. We're going to get a little bit of power. Trim is set. Landing gears down. Green light. Turning now. Remember, we're coming in at an offset angle because this uh, approach here has a tree on the left side of the runway as we come in. So we're going to come in at a 45 degree angle and then turn final on the, on the approach path. Now with the speed good at 140, go ahead and go flaps 40. Now pull power back. We've got lots of height. Let's go flaps full. We'll leave it down. Now I'm going to abort this landing, see how steep we're coming in here. We want to come in a little steep to transfer the energy of the aircraft downward, but we don't want to come in this steep. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to go flaps up one. I'm going to initiate go around with power, but not too much, because remember, if you jam the power on, you're going to get those left turning tendencies that we talk about in, in uh, propeller driven airplanes. So now flowers, flaps up to powers in and flaps up to 20. And we're going to go ahead and declare a missed approach and go around. And again, all the time we're looking at the airfield for any activity, listening on the radio, looking in the air, just checking around us, getting our head on a swivel. All right, this time we're going to do it. We're going to nail it. All right, flaps 30. Gear still down. And let's not balloon. Power back. Flaps 40. Now in this right here with this flap configuration, see how steep that is? We don't want to turn too steeply. So we're going to come in. We're going to make sure we carry a little bit of power. We're at 120 right now, which is a little bit better for landing. I'm leading with the pedal to keep the ball centered. So if I'm turning right, I'm leading right with the foot, right foot. Let's go flaps full. 50 degrees and let's drop some altitude. So we're going to keep the nose up and pull the power back at 115. Now see how we're coming off at an angle here? We're just going to scoot in there. This is a lot better approach. Not perfect, but I'll take it. Okay, getting ready on the brakes and pulling up. And let's get over that little hump there. 
and then touchdown. Now pull full stick back. I'm pumping the brakes a little bit so we don't run up that hill at the end. You can jam on these brakes if you want on grass in the real life. It'll slide a little bit, but you don't want to lock them up. All right, we made it before the hump. There we go. Flaps up. Canopy open. Not too bad. I'll take that one today. Okay, you guys enjoy. I'll come up with part three pretty soon on the short field takeoff and circuit. And that'll end the series, part three. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care.